In this video, you will learn how we can easily use TimeCamp. If you're starting out with a TimeCamp and you yet didn't create an account, you will find the link down below in the description for registering. Now I'm going to show you how we can increase project profitability with time tracking and how we can step by step use TimeCamp. So the first thing you want to do is to add email address here and register. Now, really important to say, you will have a link down below in the description. It's an affiliate link. If you are uh, like, if you will like this video and it will help you, you can register through the link and you will also support me that way too. Start tracking time. Now I'm going to add a password here. Of course, you can sign with the Gmail. That's completely up to you. Sign up for free. And now let's set up your account. Let's do it. How many people use TimeCamp? It's going to be just me, but you can also add uh, like if it's going to be more. Choose your needs. Now, what are you going to use? You can use invoicing. Let's say I'm going to timesheet approval, hour rates, attendances, GPS location tracking, screenshot, and also computer time. Now you can choose which needs you want. I'm going to save, save and continue and improve your work with our applications, you can download the desktop app or you can browse plugin. Continue. You can also download it if you want. Now let's get started. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use it all um, the time, time camp on a desktop version and also for the Chrome. But of course, you can uh, add also to your Chrome here the extension. Now let's start and let's see what we actually got here. So when we come here to time camp, what we can see on the left, we can see timesheet where you can add um, like a task project note. We will get to it. Then we can see the dashboard where you would find the like what is happening. Now you can also have the desktop application and you would find it all there reports. And these are the reports by time, by people reports, budgeting reports, the revenues, uh, days, details, summary, and then computer time. This is also uh, computer time reports where you have the away time, the activities, categories, timeline, and I will show you how we can also use it with desktop. Then you are going to see the manage and team and clients. So let's get to these and then we are going to start the timesheet. All right. So first thing first projects. This is the first thing that we can create. I can simply click here, add a project and let's say it's going to be YouTube channel. Create a new project. What I see here, YouTube channel, people. This is me as a project management, project manager. I can assign the group or assign people. Now uh, I can add a description and then I can add a budget. So let's say estimated fee. It's going to be 1000. And then I can see also tags here. Now, um, as you can see, you can open in pop-up window the people. So I'm going to click here and you see people who have access to YouTube channel are these. Now what I can do next, you see, this is how you can edit it and you can add a task right under your channel under your project. So I'm going to add a task and let's say this is going to be YouTube video and add a task. And as you can see, this is our project and this is our task. Now I have time report here and I can view more actions. I can change the color here. I can clone the task, I can delete it or I can move. So you can even make a subtask. So this is pretty much it how it works and this is how you can create the project. Now to go even further, we click save here. You can collapse all projects. You can even add more projects or you can import it. Now, when we have the project, what we can do is to simply add a tax here. Tax, add a tag list. And let's say this is going to be YouTube. 
So these are going to be our tags that we can use. Then we have the team here. Team uh, is like you can invite people that are going to work on the project. So let's say I'm going to have designer and I want to see and I want to see how well uh, they're performing, right? So you can always see it right here and you can invite people. I'm not going to invite anyone here, but this is uh, where you can actually do it. Then under users, we have attendances. In attendances, you can see, uh, like, let's say total projects in should be non-working day. We have the one an eight hour in a day. And you can see all this and time sheet approvals. The attendances would be for your people that are under your project and time sheet approvals. Now let's add a client. So I can simply come here, go to top right and click new client. Let's say organization is going to be my company. Like this, Marcus client. And you can also add an address. And what you can do is to change default currency for the client and then click save. Now, when you have it, you're going to see the invoices here under clients. And then we can go here and click new invoice and click empty, right? And now you can cho choose everything here. So first thing first, client, we add it here, invoice number, issue date, due date. Uh, then you can also add address here, uh, currency, PO number, private comment, and then type what kind of server it was. YouTube video, rate, let's say 10, text, zero tax, and this is going to be $1,000. And now what I can do, I'm going to remove this one. And then these are the services and then you would have also the products. And then you would have, I'm going to cancel you. Uh, the notes for terms visible to client, subtotal. And then what I would do, I would click here, same invoice. See, and when I would click here on invoices, here you have the invoice. You can have it as a paid or pending and you can send the invoice when you create your invoice and to who you want to send it to message and then this is how we got it now when we have the invoices and the clients let's go and jump to the timesheet how we can actually start the timer the most fun right so first thing first you need to select a task and we can create a, we can click on a task or just a project i'm going to have for the project and then I'm going to start a timer and see, you can see on the top left that the timer already started and it's going there and it's increasing really well. So this is how we do it. And now let's say it's going to be 20 seconds. What I can do is also add a manually for two hours. So let's say these were two hours. Okay, but I didn't add a task. So let's say it's going to be YouTube channel. See, and we can clearly see it was I can make it unbillable. I can open time entry history, I can change entries date, or I can show reports for this task. So this is where you would find also your time entries. Now when I would come here to the uh, dashboard, or reports. See, I can clearly see uh, the report here. And this is pretty much it how we do it. So that's pretty much it. Now, if we would go further, uh, we can install the application.
English, then you log in here. Like this. And now we wait. See, and the bottom right, we can see the time camp application. And now we download the app so we can see the dashboard here. And you would find all the necessary, uh, like the important analytics in your dashboard. And this is pretty much it how we do it. Now, if you download also the time tracker, um, like app here, you would find it right here and the extension and you can use it there too. So this is pretty much it, how you can use it. The time camp is really simple too. Now, if you can have any questions, guys, uh, ask me down in comments. And you will see also the billing here and the integrations that you can do. So that's pretty much it. If you can have any questions, guys, ask me down in comments. I'll be really happy to help you and provide you some guidance and support. And I hope you're going to have a great day. And yeah, see ya.